Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create Piper diagrams and Dourif plots in AquaCam. So as you can see, I have a project loaded that has data already on it. Incidentally, for this video, I'm using the AquaCam demo project, which you can install by going to the project menu and selecting install demo project. Anyway, if I open the sample list, we can see that this project already has several samples on it, which incidentally have major ion data for all of them. So now to create a Piper plot, I first need to create a new plot collection. This can be done by going to the plots menu and selecting new plot collection or by pressing the plots button on the module toolbar. So this will open up a new tab for our new plot collection. Now to add a plot, I simply need to select the green plus button and find Piper. So this will open up a new window with the options for the plot. So as we can see, by default, the Piper diagrams created by Aquacam will automatically have the major cations ternary diagram on the bottom left and the major anions ternary diagram in the bottom right. If I close the settings, we can see that this plot is interactive. For example, most of the samples for the station MW4 have chemistries that put them in the calcium chloride type facies. But we can see that one sample has chemistry data that apparently puts it in the magnesium bicarbonate facies. If I select it, we can see that it's highlighted on all three parts of the plot, as well as in the sample picker. And by looking at the sample picker, we can see that this sample is the sample OW4083. So now if I go to the sample list, we can see that this sample has been automatically selected and I'd be able to review the chemistry data for this sample. So I'll go back to the plot collection. If I want to customize this plot, I could do so by pressing the plot settings button or by simply right clicking on the plot. This will open up the plot settings window. And with this open, I've got many different options for customizing the look of this plot. There are a lot of different options here organized into different tabs, all of which are documented in the Aquacam manual. For this demo, I want to highlight some essential ones. Under source, we can see that this plot is currently using the active sample set, which happens to be the all station sample set. If I wanted to, I could restrict where this data is coming from. For example, if I wanted the plot to only display from a particular sample set, I could open the dropdown and select sample set and now I have the option to press select and select which sample set to use. I'll choose the 2005 samples, which is a sample set for the samples taken in 2005. Now when I hit OK to select it, you can see that it's been selected. And when I hit apply, you can see now the plot has been filtered to only those samples taken in 2005. I could also filter the data so that it's only coming from a specific station. So to do that, I would select station under the source. And then in the select, I'll select the station here. Let's say MW3. So I'll select that, hit OK. And now when I hit apply, we can see that we've only got the data from MW3. Anyways, I'll put this back to the active sample set. Now I'll show how to customize the axes on these plots. So most Piper diagrams have the major cations in the ternary diagram on the bottom left, and on the bottom right, they've got a ternary diagram with the major anions. However, these plots can be customized arbitrarily. Suppose that I wanted the anions on the bottom left and the cations on the bottom right. To do that, all I'd need to do is to switch the parameters on the axis table. For example, to switch calcium and chloride, I could simply select calcium, which will open up the parameter selector, I'll find chloride, hit OK, and now that's been added, and I'll need to switch chloride as well, so I'll select chloride, select that, find calcium, select it, hit OK. So now those two have been selected. For the sodium and potassium, we can see that this parameter is summed, and it needs to be switched with the bicarbonate plus carbonate, which is also a summed parameter. So to add a summed parameter to an axis, it's very simple, so I'll just select the sodium plus potassium, and now in the parameter selector, I'll find bicarbonate, select it. And now I'll scroll down to carbonate and holding control, I'll control click onto carbonate so that carbonate and bicarbonate are both selected. And I'll just hit OK. And now we can see bicarbonate plus carbonate has been added to this axis. And of course, I can do the same thing for sodium plus potassium. So I'll select bicarbonate plus carbonate. In the parameter selector, I'll select sodium. 
hold down control click and then select potassium, hit OK. So now I'll just quickly switch the other parameters here. So this magnesium will go to sulfate and vice versa. And now when I hit apply, we should see the actual switch. And there you go. Okay. So Aquachem also comes with some other commonly used geochemical plots, such as Durov diagrams. Creating a Durov diagram in Aquachem is also easy. To do this, I simply select the Create New Plot button, and I'd select Durov. Customizing a Durov plot is almost exactly like customizing a Piper diagram. So, for example, if I wanted this right chart to have total dissolved solids instead of electrical conductivity, I would simply find the electrical conductivity parameter here on the axis table, select it, and filter for TDS, select it and hit OK, and apply. And we can see that the changes have been made. So I'll close the options. Finally, if I wanted to save these plots for further use in Aquachem, I could simply save the plot collection by pressing the Save button in the Plot Collection toolbar. I'll call this plot collection, say, Geochemical Plots, and press OK. And now, if I look in the project tree under Plot Collections, you can see that this plot collection has been added. If I wanted to export these plots, that's also easy. To do that, I'd press the Export Plots button. And in this tab, I can choose my desired format for export, whether as an image or as a presentation. I can choose which plots to export, whether or not that's the current plot or the entire plot collection. I can choose an output path where these images will get sent to, and I can choose what the resolution of the plots will be after export. Then with all those settings set, I can just simply press the export button and the plots would be exported. Anyway, that's everything I have for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.